It's big worm summer. Today, we are gonna be fishing with big worms. We have everything from 10 to 12 inches in length. We're gonna get out on the water and uh, we're gonna see if we can find any hungry fish willing to bite a big old worm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's a hot one today, guys. We got temps pushing 100 degrees, heat advisories out, but it's a little windy, so. And um, we did have a little bit of a rain not long ago. So hopefully these fish are biting and um, hopefully it's enough to keep us comfortable. But I'll tell you what will keep us comfortable is these shade lines over here. To start it off, I got this 10 inch, it's either 10 or 12, I don't remember which one this is, but everything we have today is either 10 or 12 inches. Just for reference, on a five aught hook with just a little, um, I don't know what size weight this is, tiny little weight and I don't have it pegged or anything fancy like that but we're going into the bank so let me quit my rambling now that y'all know what I'm going to be using and all that and let me pedal and actually focus on steering all right let me get my big old worm out I'm using a 10 inch ribbon tail Oh, that was a good fish. Well, that's a good sign that I already have a bite like that. Not good, because I missed it. That was a big one. I thought it was a snag until I felt the head shakes. I'm gonna paddle a little bit, get some breeze. Fish, two fish just popped up right here. I'm getting a bite. This worm's so big. Maddie's getting bites. It's just hard to get a hook in them with these big worms. That's one of the big problems about them. We'll find one hungry enough to come up and take the whole thing and get the hook, hopefully. Oh, there's a bite. Oh. It's just so hard to stick them with these long worms. Wouldn't be a challenge if there wasn't challenging aspects, right? So it makes it fun. It's a hot day and the creek to this lake actually runs in right up here. That usually cools the water off a little bit. So we're gonna fish this little section, see if there's any uh, fish piled up in here. I love, love, love to find those places where the creeks meet lakes. Some of the best fishing. There we go. Let's go. Choke that thing. There we go, first fish on the worm and he completely swallowed it. But we got the hook out, got the worm back. Gotta go ahead and let him go. It might take a little bit of reviving because like I said, he completely swallowed that hook, but we were able to get it out. It's a good sign though. Tells me they actually, they want to eat it. But uh, he's about to take off now. There he goes. Good job. Thank you. Ray, the whole worm was down his throat. Let's stretch our legs. This don't feel like a bad one. Ah, oh, it came off. And I had it hooked. That was big. I'm gonna go over here in the shade. See if we can get on anything. Got another bite. It's big worm summer. The yeah, fish just aren't really biting right now, but they will. Yes, they will. Oh, he got me tangled up too. Is he still on? Oh. Yes. That's a good one. Thank you, buddy. It's um, crazy catch. Thank you, pretty girl. It's like a good two pounder. You got a big old jaw too.
catch of the day so far. That's a good one, especially for this lake. I was reeling it in fast too when she hit it. She wanted that movement. That's what I love about these types of worms, these ribbon tails. Cause you can, you can use them just like you would like a Senko, a stick bait, but you can also move them cause that tail's got such good action. Got the big old green pumpkin worm on, even though I feel like it really blends in with this water. It's a little bit of visibility. Maybe they just want something a little more natural. Let's give her a go. Anything can happen. Float on. Miss Judgy. Most Judgy. Oh. You can go get that for me. The worm? Yeah. Of course I did. Oh yeah. Another decent one right here. That's a good one, Maddie. Heavy little fella. Beautiful, wow. He's got a perfect, perfect lateral line. It's a gorgeous fish right there. Beautiful. There's a jealous ray in the background. <laughs> All right, thanks for the bite, bud. He's ready to go. Oof. <laughs> the f what was it? I got smacked in the face by a bug. That bug is Will Smith, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> Ray just got Will Smith by a bug. Be quiet. My croc is a graveyard of worms. Old, torn up plastic worms. There's a deer in front of you. Oh. This is a little guy. Oh no, maybe not. Oh. <laughs> yeah. That was cool. It's a carp sticking up out of the water right here. I'm trying to sneak up on it. Be really quiet. See if you can get closer. See so he's gonna go out. Be sneaky. What's it doing? I think it's disfigured. See if you can grab him. I think he's dying. To be real with you. What are you doing? It didn't grow anymore. I was on top of a snapping turtle stuck. My bad, buddy. Carry on. No, 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 no. Go the other way. Go the other way. Get. The snapping turtle was trying to get up on my boat. Can you grab it? I'm going to try to net him. Never mind. <laughs> I got so close to this carp. I got stuck and I thought I was beached and I wasn't. I was stuck on a freaking snapping turtle. What is it with me and snapping turtles? I got a big snapping turtle. It's a giant. They just love to be where I'm at, I swear. I swear I would have had him. My freaking fishing line was still out. I didn't want to spook him, so I left it out because I knew if I really in my bait's going to come right past him. Well, the line ended up touching his back. And it scared me so bad. Oh. Yeah, his back is like broke. He's like got some sort of scoliosis. I'm going to try to net him. I'm getting him. <laughs> Did this just become catch this carp mission and forget the worms? Are we wrong for this though? I want to see what's wrong with him. Oh, here he is. Yeah, he's completely turned, like twisted. He's coming right to you, Ray. Which side? He's so deformed. I would just, I want to show you guys how bad this is. Ah, oh, he go, he went deep. He's like the most deformed fish I've ever seen. This thing will end up tipping Maddie's boat over. 
and I'm gonna lose it. I swear I think that snapping turtle was trying to eat on him. All right, we're gonna leave him alone. I think at this point he's scared, so. We don't want to scare him. He's already got a lot going on. Yeah, don't cause that guy no more stress. He's been through it. And I'm not too sure that snapping turtle wasn't perched up waiting on him to like croak so he could start eating. I don't know. Do you guys know what causes a fish's spine to look like that? Like for a fish to be coiled up like in a S shape? Do they get scoliosis? What happened? I mean, he was just all twisted up. Sad. Really freaking sad. Oh my God, there's that bug again. It's like a freaking bat that won't leave me alone. Oh no, it's a yellow jacket. Gooey, gooey. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone, please. My it's where I'm wearing a yellow shirt. It probably thinks I'm like, it's queen. It's following me. What? Oh, this is even faster. Get, oh my God, it's in my ear. Maddie! Is it mad? Maddie! It's, uh, it's a bee. Help me. Do you say something? Uh, is it gone? I think it's gone. Why me? Well, I had another one, but he just spit the hook. That sun slipping down a little bit behind the horizon. I'm thinking that's gonna help with the fish. I have noticed with them big worms, it's cut down on the amount of dinks, hadn't it? You haven't caught a single dink. High ones into the two pounds. It's pretty good for this lake. I haven't caught Mondo, but they've been solid. Every cast is a possibility to catch Mondo. Remember that. Oh, that was a good one, but he came off. He's back. Oh. Come here, baby, yes. Yes. Another solid fish. Another solid fish. On the big worm. Get the release. Good job. All right, got the big straight tail worm on now. It is raining back there. Hey, Ray, it might rain. About to pour down on us. That's wicked looking. Oh, got a bite. Not bad. Man, he's big. Or maybe. Yeah, he ain't bad. Come here, baby. Come on, that cheese. It's a good two pounder. Going for this lake. Get in the net. All right, just forget it then. We'll boat flipping. On to big worm. Looks like we got this guy just before storm. This two pounder right here fought like a freaking five. I'm not even kidding. What a fight. Wanted to get him in the net, but he just wouldn't cooperate. I saw that. Beautiful fish. And she's got that big worm energy. We leave right now. If the sky breaks over top of us, I'm not gonna leave him hammed it. Hammed it. But let's get this beauty queen back into the water. Thanks so much, sweetheart. Oh, oh, she took off before I had a chance. She was ready, so sweet. Gonna lie, I was kind of nervous at first when I saw that rolling in. Thankfully, it didn't break over top of our heads and it is going that away. All right, and now the finesse worm is not as big as it once was. It lost the tip, its top, because that fish uh, split it. And it's the only one we have in this color, so technically this will not count as a big worm anymore. I mean, I guess you could count it. It's probably like nine or eight inches now, but I was really wanting to stick to that 10 to 12 inch category. So still gonna throw it to have some fun until we can get up with Maddie and get a different worm. She has all the baits on her boat because her boat's a little more stable than my boat. I thought that was a fish. Oh no, it ain't a snapping turtle, is it? Really good. <gasps> Let's 
What's wrong? I got a big snapping turtle. It's a giant. Oh my. Keep it away from your boat. Y'all, what the freak? No, 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 no. I don't want to reel it in. I'm just going to give him the worm, guys, because I'm not handling this guy. I'm trying to. What? Guys, this guy's a monster. I'm going to try to keep him away from me. And I'm just going to give him the worm. I hate leaving that in, in its mouth, but... How big is it? I'm going to pull him up. Stay back. Oh, it came free. Yes! Get the f away from that thing. What is it with me and snapping turtles? That's scary. I've been scared by a car, smacked in the face by a bug, <laughs> harassed by a bee. It's a bee. I parked on top of a snapping turtle. Might have been that one's husband. If you guys aren't familiar with snapping turtles, they are not nice. And that guy would hurt me really, really bad. I can promise you, my scary tail self is not going to win a fight against a snapping turtle. I thought you had like an incredible fish. It started dawning on me, like slow down, don't pull that so quick into the toward the boat, because I saw bubbles coming up, yeah. and I knew, okay, that's that's um, not a log. I am glad he got to go away without the hook in his mouth. Even though they're super terrifying, he's still a living creature, you know. Nothing deserves to have a hook stuck in its mouth. I'm gonna go fish over here near this creek. Get away from uh, this drama. This wind over here is just ripping, like in the ocean. That storm is blowing away. It's making it windy. Yes, Maddie got one. Oh, you had him though, I've seen it. I might have had it. Maddie, um, I don't know how well my camera was facing her. Her camera overheated, but she had a fish. She pretty much had him almost to the boat and he spit the hook. That was a good one. She kills it on them curly tail worms. I'm telling y'all, it's like her specialty. He was right where he should be too. That's textbook. Right there in that little shade line at this point, right when it comes around the bank. Perfect spot for bait fish to come through. Got to put my big worm back on. Since this one got the tip of it broken off, like half an inch or an inch by a fish and then another inch and plus all torn up by a snapping turtle, she's no longer a big old worm. She's now a little normal worm. So we're going to put a big worm back on. You see all the water pushing in here? It's going to be real windy in here though. I know everything's like pushing up into here. This is crazy. It's gonna be fun trying to get out of here, isn't it? Yeah, it's the only thing. <laughs> on these inflatables against all this current. I'm just getting blown all over. A spinner bait back here would do it. Oh, Ray's about to get a fishy. Oh, put your worm in there. I did. That's probably a snapping turtle. Ooh, the monster of all snapping turtles just popped its head up in front of you. He's huge. That's probably what you just got bit by. No, it was a fish. All right, I'll give you another worm. I got this one. I'm just gonna put it on. I don't have a tip. I think that was a snapping turtle. By now, I think I know what a snapping turtle feels like, okay? See? That's him. Tell me that wasn't no fish. And we getting blown up into some crazy stuff. So hook, I'm gonna need you to come out. We got him, we got him. Whew, child, I knew it was a fish that bit though. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and let him go because we're getting blown away by the wind. Thanks, baby. There he goes. Backing up, Terry. Ugh. Fish number two for Ray Ray. You were right. Yep, there's more. Yes, that's a fatty. Beautiful fish on the big worm. Yes, ma'am. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get this baby back in. I just wanna look at her one more time. She's so pretty. <laughs> 
All right, well, she didn't want me to look at her anymore. Because we have a storm. It just came out of nowhere and was like blowing past us now. And whew, all of a sudden the wind just really kicked it into fifth gear. You can really tell a storm is pushing out. Usually we like to get somatic shots and slow, cool releases and all that stuff. But we're a little unable to do that because we're getting blown away while we're handling the fish. We might have to wrap it up early. It's getting too windy to kayak. Yeah, we're gonna have to wrap it up. It's like, as much as I wanna stay and catch some more fish, this is crazy. All right, you guys, we're back uh, at the- Hold on now, I wasn't ready. We're back at the boat ramp. Overall, it was a great day. You freaking killed it. I caught over a handful of fish. I think it was like six, five. Uh, I don't know. It was a lot of fish. It was a lot. In only a very short amount of time. We weren't here long. We ended up getting blown away by the wind. Um, we decided to call it because the storm is blowing in, guys. We're trying to get out of here before any lightning or crazy stuff happens. And um, we got tired of being blown away, so it was a lot of fun. We'll definitely have to come back out and do something with the big worms again. If you guys like that type of thing, make sure you like this. Subscribe. Subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. As always, we will catch you on the next adventure. Peace.